Developing now, a top executive in the Trump Organization surrendered to authorities today to face tax-related charges. It comes after a two-year investigation into the business practices of former President Donald Trump. CBS4's Bradley Blackburn breaks down the case. The Trump Organization's chief financial officer turned himself in to authorities this morning in New York. Alan Weisselberg and the Trump Organization are facing charges for allegedly not paying taxes on corporate benefits and perks. A former executive vice president of the Trump Organization believes Weisselberg did not act alone. Nobody does anything major without Trump's knowledge and usually approval. But in a statement, former President Trump said his company's actions were, quote, standard practice and in no way a crime. Some legal experts believe New York prosecutors are leaning on Weisselberg, hoping he will turn on Mr. Trump. But the two men have a long history together. The former taxi driver has operated behind the scenes for decades, not only as CFO, but also as the Trump family's personal bookkeeper. Replacing George this week is my chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg. And you think George is tough? Wait till you see Alan. Weisselberg's estranged former daughter-in-law is working with New York prosecutors. She turned over several boxes of documents to investigators. Weisselberg's attorneys say their client intends to plead not guilty and will fight the charges in court. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And the charges are set to be unsealed later today. Some of the alleged perks that were not taxed could include the use of apartments, cars, and school tuition, according to people familiar with the case.